and today we're going to be talking about the ICDC grain corn variety trial. So as you can see I'm standing right beside the trial right now which is one of our last projects left in the field this year. We've been doing this trial now for about four years. The reason why ICDC is looking into grain corn and has been for the last four years is because of the release of new low corn heat unit requiring varieties. So these varieties are rated uh, suitable for to grow in regions such as around Lake Diefenbaker where we get on average roughly around uh, 2250 corn heat units. On most years these varieties should be able to mature and produce a green corn yield. What we've seen in the last four years is that just because we get this amount of corn heat units on average doesn't mean we always are going to be getting them. We've had very large yield differences from year to year with this trial, ranging from up to 180 bushels an acre down to 30 bushels an acre. And this is completely dependent on the kind of year we get, how much sunlight we get in corn, total corn heat units, and how long the growing season is. So there definitely is some risk associated with this crop. The one advantage we have growing this crop under irrigation is that water is no longer a limiting factor. Corn is a very high input crop, it costs a lot of money to put in. These new varieties have a high seed cost associated with them, so you want to make sure that you're uh, giving yourself all the advantages you can to get some crop off these new varieties. So by having irrigation, you're allowed to meet the crop's water demands, uh, which can be up to 12 to 14 inches in a growing season, which is more than we typically get around Outlook. And if you can get those yields that are close to 180 bushels an acre, there's definitely some profit to be had. And saying that, there's no guarantee you're gonna get that. Uh, new varieties are coming out that are better every year. And uh, hopefully I'll get to the point where the high yields will be more consistent. Because with the high cro uh, cost associated with growing this crop, along with the fact that you most likely have to dry the crop after you harvest it because of our short growing season, means you're gonna need those high yields in order to, to meet your, uh, your profit requirements. Another aspect about corn that uh, producers are liking is that those high yields are, are great for uh, substituting other grain feed crops such as uh, barley. This year I'm not going to try to estimate what the variety trials will yield but I'm going to assume it's not going to be our highest yielding year just because of the poor fall we've had. The grain corn variety trials looking at a number of different varieties from different companies. We usually select for this trial the ones that have the lowest corn heat unit requirements just because we are in Saskatchewan. There's not a, not a lot of grain corn being grown around Outlook right now. Most of it's located in the southeast of the province. Although around Lake Diefenbaker we are kind of in the hot spot in terms of corn heat units too. So theoretically we should be able to do what they're doing down in the southeast. Plus we have the advantage of irrigation so uh, hopefully we get to the point where this will be a very economic crop for uh, irrigators in Saskatchewan and we can get consistent yields. Come back in the winter and we're going to talk about what kind of yields we get. We're hoping to harvest this crop next week, uh, which is getting into the end of October, and we will be writing the final report this winter and doing a follow-up video sometime in the new year.